Hello, welcome to PSC Connect Media and you are watching today's latest news. India on biofuels. G20 countries can collaborate to achieve biofuels full potential, said Secretary Ministry of PNG. Secretary of Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas, Sri Pankaj Jain highlighted the role of biofuels and the importance of G20 countries collaboration in achieving the full potential of biofuels for a greener and cleaner tomorrow. Focused on the untapped potential in biofuels and its increasing appeal from clean energy transition, wide-ranging application, techno-commercial viability and financing standpoints. Coal Secretary holds meeting with higher officials of railways at SECL headquarters. Coal Secretary Sri Amrit Lal Meena reached SECL headquarters in the next phase of his stay along with CMV SECL Dr. Prem Sagar Mishra. In the meeting, issues related to SECL's coal's dispatch, availability of railway rates, rail projects of SECL, etc. were discussed. On this occasion, tricycles and wheelchairs were distributed to a total of 21 beneficiaries out of which tricycles were given to 15 divyangs and wheelchairs to 6 people. Gale reports highest ever annual revenue in financial year 2023. Gale India Limited reported revenue from operation of Rs 1,44,302 crore in financial year 23 as against Rs 91,646 crore in financial year 22. Talking about the company's financial year 23 profit, the PBT stood at Rs 6,584 crore as against Rs 13,590 crores in financial year 2022 and PAT stood at Rs 5,302 crore as against Rs 10,364 crores in financial year 2022. Profit before tax registered a growth of 165% to Rs 591 crore in quarter 4 financial year 23 and profit after tax increased by 146% to Rs 604 crore in quarter 4 financial year 23. IREDA deliberates future collaboration and investment opportunities in renewable energy. Shri Pradeep Kumar Das, Chairman and Managing Director of Indian Renewable Energy Development Agency Limited, called as IREDA, along with the team, visited the office of North Fund, Norway Investment Fund for Developing Countries in Bangkok, Thailand today, and discussed investment opportunities and collaborative funding models for renewable energy development in India. IREDA delivered an elaborative presentation on the significant role played by the company towards the existing renewable energy status in India and the future plans for a dedicated growth of clean energy sector under the NDC target set up by the Government of India. India's defence production crosses Rs 1 lakh crore figure for the first time ever. As a result of the consistent effort of the Ministry of Defence, the value of defence production in the financial year 2022-23 to has crossed the figure of Rs 1 lakh crore for the first time ever. The value currently stands Rs 1 lakh 6,800 crore and it will go further once the data is received from the remaining private defence industries. The current value of defence production in financial year 23 is a rise of more than 12% of financial year 2022 when the figure was Rs 95,000 crore. Coal Secretary Sri Amrit Lal Meena on a visit to Chhattisgarh. Sri Amrit Lal Meena, Secretary Ministry of Coal, held a meeting with Sri Amitabh Jain, Chief Secretary, Government of Chhattisgarh at Mantralya Mahanadi Bhavan in Raipur. The meeting was held to discuss different issues related to ongoing mining projects of SECL and to ensure better coordination with the state government for better operation of mines. Rights D affirms its unwavering strength in consultancy. Rail India Technical and Economic Service Limited, a mini Ratna schedule a CPSC under the Ministry of Railways, reaffirms its unwavering strength in consultancy across all sectors of infrastructure. A revenue of Rs 2,730 crores in financial year 23 and about 200 fresh orders received during the year highlights 
the commitment to providing unparalleled services. EIL participated in the Petroleum and Power Automation Meet. Engineers India Limited participated in the Petroleum and Power Automation Meet organized by the International Society of Automation Delhi Section in New Delhi on the theme of IIoT Industry, Innovation, Operation and Transformation. Sri Rajiv Agarwal, Director Technical EIL, graced the event as the guest of honor. Over 400 experts from a wide pool of petroleum and power industries came together to discuss the latest advancement in automation and instrumentation technology. Thanks for being with us. Like, share and subscribe by clicking the subscribe button. And if you want to say something, kindly put your comments down. Thank you.